uh, ADC Supreet and I was hearing quite a lot about GRPC so I thought you know why not uh, not get my hands dirty on GRPC so GRPC is again one of the communication media uh, one of the way to communicate between multiple microservices so usually people do you know uh, have REST APIs as a communication channel between uh, two or more microservices now GRPC is one more option that we have uh, that we can make use to establish a communication between multiple microservices now for that I have created a project and instead of you know creating a ASP.NET core project or web API project what we have is uh, you can you now search for GRPC and uh, take the template so uh, your project gets built uh, in this way and you have these folder structures right one is protos and services so services is uh, a section where you can you know, create your um, you know apis something like that your, your services basically now this is a section called protos now we have one file called pro greed dot proto so this is the one so now here you can you know treat this as a model class you know you have hello request uh, as one hello reply as one and you have a method called say hello which takes in hello request as a parameter uh, so basically you're calling you no know, say hello function so this is your service so basically they are injecting iLogger of greater service all right and here this is a function called say hello so now this service is going to be inherited from greater dot greater base right so this is an inbuilt you know uh, class uh, you don't get to see over here anywhere over here because uh, this is a kind of inbuilt class so now um, uh, what we can do is we can you know create a console application and try to consume the service right so for that uh, let me you know create a console application I'm gonna say add new project and this would be a console application I'm gonna say grpc client I'm gonna say create all right so this is one more uh, enough package that we need to install I'm gonna say install all right so let's search for Google protobuf So this is the one. Let's install this. For now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. We're gonna create a new folder over here. Let's say protos. And we're gonna copy this green dot proto here all right so now we're gonna check the properties all right so now this should be set to client only must apply it should work great so after this we're gonna go to program.cs now we're gonna say var channel equals to grpc client uh -huh. grpc channel let me check right we have this channel so grpc channel dot 
for address all right so here we're gonna pass the address or URL of the server so it should be HTTP localhost and then some port number probably all right so now we can say var client equals to all right so look at this so we're gonna copy this let's see if we can copy we can copy this and we're gonna paste it over here Right, so now we're gonna say for sorry client equals to new greeter dot greeter client and we're gonna pass this channel. okay so now we're gonna say sorry we have client now we're gonna say well, response is equal to client dot we have async say hello async and then this is gonna or take hello request so we're gonna create a request object. Let me check. Hello request. All right. So now we're gonna say var request is equal to new hello request. And what does it take? Name equals to. I'm gonna pass my name. All right. So this is my request object and I'm gonna pass this request over here. It still complains, doesn't complain. All right, so I'm gonna say return response. Now it should not complain. All right, so let me check if I can. Since it is async, I'm gonna say await. And I'm gonna say task. Then I will have a sync keyword over here. So task namespace should be added. So now it still complains. So I'm gonna say multiple projects and then start, start, apply and okay. So now let's rebuild this. All right, so now I'm gonna start this and see if we're gonna get our results. All right, so now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna write this to console. So console dot write line and say a response dot message and then say console dot read line I'm just gonna say 
read. All right, I'm just gonna stop it and restart. Now we're gonna rerun this and check if it gives me the result. So now it's listening to port number 5001 local host and this is our result. Look at this. So it says hello and my name. So this is coming from here. So this is my request. Request object has a property called name and this is the value assigned to this property and the request object is passed to hello async method say hello async method and when you call this method it's gonna give you some response and let me show you this method right So this is the method we're gonna override this in the service. So it says hello and the name. So now this is the resultant. So now this is how easy it is to work with you know, uh, gRPC client. So now in the future videos, we're gonna see how to create our own you know, model classes and work with them. Thank you.